Hello everyone and welcome to Hi Kids. My name is Matilda and I'll be taking you through this video today. Over the past few weeks it's been really great having the opportunity to talk about the gospel and do some um, craft activities together. But because it's now Lent, which is a special season uh, for the church, we're going to do something... <laughs> whoops. We're going to do something just a tiny bit different. I'm still going to talk to you about the gospel every Sunday, uh, but rather than doing a kind of craft activity that's linked to that gospel specifically, I'm going to take you through six different ways that you can pray. Um, sometimes I find that it can be a little bit difficult for me just to sit down and uh, put my hands together and pray quietly uh, to God without any structure, just thinking and talking about things. So I'm hoping that these six techniques might help some of you to become closer to God uh, in a way that works for you and for God. All right, so I'm going to start this week uh, by reading the gospel and talking a bit about it, and then we'll try our first prayer technique. So the reading, ooh, the reading for today is the spirit drove Jesus out into the wilderness. And he remained there for 40 days and was tempted by Satan. He was with the wild beasts and the angels looked after him. After John had been arrested, Jesus went into Galilee. There he proclaimed the good news from God. The time has come, he said, and the kingdom of God is close at hand. Repent and believe the good news. Are you giving something up for Lent? In today's gospel, Jesus goes out into the wilderness for 40 days, like Lent lasts for 40 days. Can you think of what it must have been like for him? Out in the wilderness, he would have given up quite a lot of things. Uh, he wouldn't have had a bed to sleep in. He was a long way from his friends, his family and his loved ones. And it may even have been hard for him to find food to eat. I don't know if I could find enough to eat if you just put me in the countryside for uh, six weeks. But he wasn't just giving things up for no reason, and he wasn't being tempted by Satan for no reason. Giving things up was serving an important purpose for Jesus, because it prepared him to start sharing the good news with people, and enabled him to spend those times, to spend some time experiencing some difficulties and use that to become closer to God. After Jesus spends his 40 days in the desert, he goes and starts his ministry back in Galilee. So he goes out for 40 days, spends time by himself, and then he comes back ready to start sharing the message. If you've given up something Lent, there'll probably be times over the next few weeks where you'll feel sad or tired or you want to stop bothering, you know, where you'll want some of that chocolate or those fizzy drinks or whatever it is you've given up. I completely understand that. And I think when I'm going to struggle, because I'm also going to struggle uh, with keeping my Lenten promises, I think it helps to think of it not just as a struggle, but as a chance for us to become closer to God and to think more about God. By giving something up that kind of ties us down, uh, something that's focused in the world, uh, it lets us, it gives us some freedom to become more focused and closer to things in heaven and to God. So to that end, uh, I'm gonna walk you through the prayer that we're doing today. Um, which is a really easy, really simple one, because all you need for it is your hand. Uh, this is called the five finger prayer. And what you do is you take your hand and you assign something to each of your five fingers to pray about. So usually uh, the kind of the things which are usually assigned to each finger uh, are that your thumb, is assigned to your family and to your loved ones and to your friends. Your index finger uh, is assigned to people who care for us. So people like teachers, like doctors, like carers and nurses, 
um, all sorts of people who kind of provide us with the help and the things that we need. The middle finger is assigned to people who lead us, uh, people like politicians and the government, or maybe smaller things. Um, you know, maybe uh, you know, maybe you could even pray for members of your family who are in charge of your middle finger as as well as your thumb. Uh, if you want to pray for them as they kind of lead and make decisions. Uh, your ring finger is assigned to, let's put point this way, assigned to people who are in need of help at the moment. So people who are sick, people who are struggling, um, people who maybe could just use a little bit of a boost uh, in your prayer life from for them. And finally, our little pinky finger is assigned to us. We use that to pray for ourselves. So if you just remember this, then maybe at times during the day, you can just quickly go through your fingers and think, you know, I'm going to pray for my family. God, please uh, help my family. Please protect my family. Um, if there's something specific, you might pray for that. You know, maybe if um, maybe if someone that you know is going to start a new job, you could pray for them here. Maybe if uh, a member of your family is struggling with something, you can pray for them here. Just a, a quick prayer. And then on to your um, index finger. Uh, you can say a prayer for your teachers. You can say a prayer for schools. Um, you know, God, uh, please help all teachers as they try to educate people under difficult circumstances. Please help all our doctors during this coronavirus pandemic. Um, I'm going to pray. Please, please help uh, Father Ben and the ministry team at Holy Innocence uh, as they work to serve the people of Holy Innocence Parish. Um, middle finger is for leaders. So I'm going to say, uh, please, God, um, you know, thank you for our government. Um, please help them to make wise decisions uh, and as they try to take care of us all. Finally, uh, I'm going to, well, not finally, next I'm going to pray using my ring finger. Uh, I'm going to, for people who are sick, uh, please God, look after everyone who is sick at the moment. Uh, give them comfort for with your divine love and help them uh, to recover. I'm going to pray especially for everyone who's sick with coronavirus at the moment um, and hope that they can recover quickly. And finally, I'm going to pray for me. Uh, I know that God is always watching me uh, and always cares for me. So I'm going to say thank you, God, for all of the gifts you have given me and please help me. Uh, well, right now I'm going to say please help me as I make these videos to share with the parish. Really simple, really nice, easy reminder um, that we can just do any time of day. I, I quite like the thought of doing it as I wash my hands. Uh, if you remember the uh, how to wash your hands videos that went around where you kind of together like that, backs of your hands and then you do every finger. So just a very cheeky, quick prayer uh, as you make sure that all your fingers are squeaky clean. Um, of course, though, this is me and I can't uh, I can't not do a craft activity if one presents itself to me. So I'm just going to draw a very quick reminder for myself, which you might like to join in with as well. So I can remember which finger is assigned to which prayer. Uh, so this is a very, very easy one. All you need is a piece of paper a pencil and two hands. Uh, if you're not confident, you might want to get a parent to help you out with drawing around. And we're just going to draw around one of our hands. You might want to get a parent to help you out with this if uh, that's going to be a struggle for any reason. So I'm going to cut now to something where you can actually see what I'm doing with my hands. Hello again, everyone. Uh, as you can see, this isn't maybe isn't the most stable and best setup. I do just have my camera balanced on top of a Nintendo Switch box, but you can at least see my hands. So I'm just going to put I'm left handed. So I'm going to put my right hand on this piece of paper and I'm going to draw around it very nice and easy. 
There we go. Uh, it's a bit wobbly, but that doesn't matter. It's what's inside that counts in this, as in many things. There we go. Very, very nice and straightforward. We've got our hand here. Uh, you might want to decorate yours. I've got some coloured pencils um, that I think I'm going to colour it in with in a bit, just to make it look uh, a bit nicer and a bit more fancy. But for now, I'm just going to label uh, each of my fingers with what I'm going to pray for. So here I'm going to put family. I'm writing in all caps because uh, it's it's neater. I don't have very good handwriting. So I'm keeping it neat. I'm saying family here. Uh, I'm going to say people who care. Here and then I'm going to write teachers slash doctors. And here I'm going to write people who lead and then brackets are right there. Government people who need being left handed is quite unhelpful here because it means my hand covers uh, what I'm writing. Um, but you don't want to see me trying to write with my right hand. It won't be readable at all. Um, sick. Mentally ill. And finally, my little finger, very, very simple, me. Because I need help as well. So here we are. Here we've got our quick reminder for our five finger prayer. Just going to write at the top five finger prayer. Uh, you can decorate yours, make it beautiful. Uh, I think I might end up uh, colouring in all my fingers in different colours just to uh, kind of I, I, I'm very visual. I like I like being able to see a difference. So if I think my pinky finger is blue um, and I think uh, this finger can be green, uh, you can do whatever you want. You don't even have to decorate it if you don't want to. Uh, I just think it's fun. Uh, but then you'll want to, to uh, if you want to keep this, uh, you can do that. Uh, as a just keep this as a reminder of what uh, what each of your fingers means so that when you're out and about you can just pray anytime you want very quickly I pray for my family I pray for doctors and teachers I pray for people in government who are leading us I pray for people who are sick uh, who need your help and finally I pray for me and then be done I hope you found that helpful um, I've got my, I've coloured in my hand just to make it a bit brighter uh, so I can use all of the colours to remind me what fingers what as well. Um, I hope that you find this helpful, but if you don't, don't worry because we've got five more uh, techniques that you can try coming up over the next few weeks. Uh, in the meantime, I hope you all have a joyful and holy Lent. See you next time.